Good morning. Um, I am Betsy Moles Renhifo, and uh, I am offering up a Conquer the Canner clinic. Uh, most of you guys have probably never seen anything like this, but this is a very valuable tool. My students have lovingly nicknamed this tool Charlie Horse because they claim they get one of those every time they ride it, and I can actually work on their position. So one of the things that this tool enables me to do with a student that I can't do on a live horse is the canner is one of the more difficult gates to learn how to ride well. Um, most people can canner, but, and it's a fun gate. <laughs> However, you're influencing your horse's balance and speed when you don't have a good canner seat. So uh, this tool allows me to actually slow down the motion of the natural canner and even freeze moments in those canners and look at my horse, uh, my student's riding position and um, give them corrections, kind of give them a step by step. That's one of the challenges of learning how to canner is once you start cantering, your horse has one speed and you either know how to move with it um, or you don't. And the easiest way to learn how to move with something is to slow that movement down and go through it moment by moment and slowly speeding it up. Think about dancing, learning how to dance. If you're learning a new dance move, you take it nice and slow, and then eventually you bring it up to the tempo of the song that you want to dance that dance step to. Right? You don't start at the tempo of the original dance step. That's the hard way to learn. Unfortunately, with horses, that's the way most people have learned how to canter, and therefore they don't get the opportunity to kind of break down. We can describe it to you. We can say, hey, do this and that when your horse does this and that. But the muscle memory is really hard to learn when you're doing it in real time on a horse's true camera. So this tool allows me to um, isolate the movement of the horse and help correct the rider. So like if the horse is in the upswing, lifting up with the front end, um, Let's go ahead and try that just a little bit, okay? I can tell Angela that she needs to relax here. She needs to roll and kind of stick her belly button in here. She's braced her legs. I'm gonna tell her to, you know, come back here, you know, and I can literally fix my horse, uh, my student's rider position in that moment. And then I can rotate them through. Let's go to the downswing, okay? And here, she's still bracing her legs. I'm gonna tell her to relax and let that momentum, let that leg swing just a little bit more forward. She's hollowing out here a little bit more than I'd like, okay? And I can literally go through the canter motion. Let's go to neutral. Um, and help her learn how to relax and go with that motion in the correct way. So in an added benefit, people that are in the clinic, they actually get the pleasure of working the bull or the Charlie horse, okay? Um, and this learning experience is almost just as valuable because what they will feel what the rider is doing. And we'll simulate a rider that overrides the canter and a rider that's not with or is doing not doing enough. We call it the sack of potatoes. And uh, they'll be amazed at how much they can feel through that experience. And this is what your horse can feel. So they get to feel what your horse is feeling as you are riding the canter and give people feedback about they can feel when you were bracing, they can feel when you were relaxed, that kind of thing. So that's what the Conquer the Canter the morning session is all about using this tool, which most of you guys have probably never seen before. So it's a unique tool that I have, and uh, the I've learned on it, and the experience that I had learning on it, it was really what transformed my ability to sit the canner, and actually once I learned how to sit the canner well, it also bled over into sitting the trot and learning how to just relax, get rid of that brace as a rider, mm -hmm. and go with the horse. Um, so anyway, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight on what this tool is, how it works, and the benefits that it has. So look for my uh, clinics when I offer this. So this is also something that I add into my adult camps, especially on rainy days. It's a great activity for us to do. So, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm.